assembling a high quality model steam plant and this is part three. The second boiler arrives. Here it is on the kitchen table in a box. And my choice of medieval weapon of mass destruction to open the packaging today is a very small Viking axe. This particular Viking axe is not very sharp at all, so I think that after making this video I will take it into the workshop and sharpen it up a bit. It's very important to keep your Viking axe sharp at all times because you never know when you may need it to go into battle. Anyway, it's sharp enough to open this package so it can't be all that bad and this is particularly good sticky tape on the package. A quick health and safety warning, I cannot recommend using a Viking axe to open packages because if it slips you could sever your hand and then you would not be able to remove the item from within the packaging. At this stage I'm sure that some viewers may be asking themselves why do you need a second boiler? If you've seen the first episode in this series then it all becomes clear why we need a second boiler. The owner originally bought this Cotswold Heritage boiler and this is the second one of these in this package to power a Stuart Twin Victoria and a large Southworth duplex pump. And I said, well, it's far too small, it's going to struggle and the pump will completely flatten it with the amount of water it's going to pump into it at every stroke. But then I suggested a solution. Why not buy another absolutely identical Cotswold Heritage boiler and put them together in a twin boiler plant? Twin boiler plant, twin Victoria, duplex pump. There is a twin theme going on here. So in due course, the owner bought and paid for a second boiler and he stipulated that it must be identical in every way to the first, including an extra boiler bush and an extra clack valve, just like the other one. And that would mean that the duplex pump could feed both boilers simultaneously and at the same time. Eventually, with the help of my small carrier bag, I get enough of this granulated packing out of the box, and then I start to find things in the box. This is a bag of bits, I'll put that on one side until I'm ready for it. And now I can very carefully remove the boiler. And I'm really going to try hard not to get this stuff all over the table and all over the floor. It's most important to not get too excited when you're unpackaging something because you will damage it. And as it isn't Christmas or my birthday, and it's not even my boiler, I'm being especially careful to remove it from the packaging. I'll just take off this piece of paper. And finally, from within the packaging, emerges a very beautiful Cotswold Heritage steam boiler plant, comprised of a gas tank, a water pump and the boiler itself. And here it is, very nicely made, a really nice looking thing. I'll just rotate it on the table so you can have a look at it from all angles, and from all angles it looks pretty good to me. And as I mentioned in the last video, I really do like the shape and style of these Cotswold Heritage boiler pumps. They have a sort of industrial revolution look about them. I think I'll have a look at the other bits. I would guess that this is the chimney. And yes it is. This is a little chimney that fits on top of the boiler. Unlike the boiler plant itself, this is a very nicely made item and well painted. I think it's time now to have a look at the bag of bits. Inside the bag of bits are various components and there's also some bubble wrap. So I'll have a look in the bubble wrap. Oh yes, this is the clack valve. This is the second clack valve to allow me to feed the water from the duplex pump to both boilers. This one is fairly obvious. This is the filler pipe. It goes from a gas canister to allow you to transfer the liquid gas from the canister to the little tank on the board next to the boiler. There's some sort of a hand fitting to vent the tank, I assume. I haven't read the instructions. And finally, a length of flexible tubing to fit the exhaust pipe on the chimney. So here, sat on my kitchen table, are the two identical steam plants from Cotswold Heritage. There is one minor problem though, they're not identical. This is a bit like a spot the difference puzzle. And just in case any viewers haven't spotted the difference, here are the answers. The gas tanks are a different colour, and they're not in the same position relative to each other on the boards, one's further back than the other one. This is not a major problem though, because the gas tanks can be easily repainted to be the same colour and the hand pumps are not in the same position on the board either, and they're not the same colour as each other. The piping from the hand pumps is not identical, but this isn't a problem either, because I will be removing the boilers from these boards and repositioning them together on the main board, and I would be discarding the existing piping anyway. The hand pumps would be in a different relative position to the boilers in the new installation. Have you guessed yet what the main difference is between the two boiler plants? Well, here's the answer to that. 
The boiler that arrived this morning that I've just unpacked is completely devoid of an extra boiler bush to take the clack valve that came with the boiler, so I don't quite know what's going on here. It appears that some kind of a mistake has been made. I immediately phoned the owner of the boilers and explained the problems. And of course there's no bush for the inlet for the second clack. The owner contacted Cotswold Heritage and when he explained the problem and read out the specification details from the email that he sent when he ordered the second boiler, he did not get a very sympathetic answer and instead of agreeing to send a second boiler with the specification that he required, they just refunded his money. I carefully repacked the boiler into its original box and a courier picked up the package early this morning to go back to Cotswold Heritage. And it's a shame really because I thought that two boilers on a twin Victoria and a duplex water pump would be a good looking thing. But as the saying goes, all's well that ends well, the owner has bought a different boiler. This time it's from Stuart Models and it's a 6 inch diameter boiler which will be perfectly fine. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.